Hey there, I am Dr. Wendy Hood and I'm an associate professor in biological sciences and I'm the curator of mammals in the Auburn University Museum of Natural History. So let's face it, this last year has been kind of a drag and we all need a little more fun, a little more silliness, and I would suggest a little friendly competition in our lives. So to help fill that void, I'd like to invite you to participate in March Mammal Madness. You heard me, that's March Mammal Madness. It's kind of like March Madness, the basketball tournament, but in my opinion, it's a lot more fun because it features my favorite group of animals, the mammals. Oh yeah, there's typically a few insects, fish, herps, and birds sprinkled in there, so don't despair if you don't share my love for animals with nipples to suckle their young. So what is March Mammal Madness? So March Mammal Madness was developed by Dr. Katie Hind at the Arizona State University back in 2013. And since that time, grade school uh, students, college students, biologists, and other animal lovers worldwide have participated. So cheers to Dr. Hind for putting this together. It's based on the basketball tournament. The March Mammal Madness team puts together four divisions with 16 animals in each of those divisions. And they're paired off. Um, and so your job is to predict who would win the competitions between these predetermined pairings. So for example, if a tiger and an elephant were to compete, for example, who would win? And we all know who would win that competition. So the developers of Mark Mammal Madness simulate these competitions based on the biology of the animals and a little bit of a chance. And then they announce the winners throughout the month of March. So just to clarify, these are simulated competitions. No animals were harmed or even handled during these competitive bouts. The competitions are not graphic and so they're fun for all ages. So after you set your bracket, you just follow along and see how many of the competitions you predicted uh, correctly. So I predict that March Mammal Madness will be fun for the serious competitor, the armchair or stadium athlete, and even those who would rather spend all of their time in the lab. So why are we doing this and why should you play? Well, as curator of mammals, I hope that you will join me in my appreciation for mammals and the amazing diversity of life here on this planet. And I also want everyone to know that we have a research-based natural history museum here at Auburn that regularly brings students in as volunteers to help with the collections. And we have many curators who involve undergraduates as well as of course graduate students in their research programs. And we have great outreach events for everyone. There will be a raffle associated with each round of March Mammal Madness and you can win some pretty cool stuff including lots of museum gear for participating. So let's face it, we all love free stuff. So to learn more and to participate, please visit the museum's webpage for all of the details. So this year we are targeting the Auburn University community. So we would love undergraduate students, graduate students, faculty, and even staff to participate. Everyone is encouraged to follow along, but please also consider getting your significant other, your children, your favorite niece or nephew, or other people you enjoy competing with to help fill out your bracket. This is a really important point. So the brackets are released on February 27th and you must complete and submit your bracket by March 7th. And there's gonna be six other days throughout the month of March where you'll need to be submitting your score. So we encourage you to bookmark the museum's webpage and follow us on social media. There are links to all of our social media platforms on our webpage, and we'll have reminders about upcoming deadlines. So in the end, Abby and I will be releasing our brackets, so I dare you to take us down.